So we continue with our biology paper 2, 2022 paper. And we are now doing question 3, which says figure 3.0 below shows a section through a nephron. Okay, so we have a figure here, which is uh, labeled J, J here, uh, K and L. Okay, and then the question is saying name the parts labeled J, K and L. So we have uh, J as the glomerulus. So J here is the glomerulus. Glomerulus. And then we have K as the Bowman's capsule. Bowman's. Bowman's capsule. Okay, let me just scroll this, this screen a little bit. Yeah, and then we have L, which is the collecting duct. Okay. The collecting duct. And then we have question 3B, which says, suggest three substances that are not filtered at J. Okay, let's see what J is. I mean, like we know it's the glomerulus, but... So here, um, the things that cannot be filtered out of J are um, bigger particles, okay? So like cap particles like red blood cells, okay? Um, white blood cells, uh, plasma proteins, and platelets, those cannot be filtered out. They cannot pass. The particles are too big. So we can just put red blood cells there red blood cells and then the white blood cells and then we can put uh, plasma proteins plasma proteins and then you can put platelets uh, as a bonus answer if you want okay and then question 3b2 says Explain what would happen at J if the coiling of the blood capillary was increased. So if uh, at the glomerulus, the coiling of the blood capillary was increased, what happens then? So this would increase the process of um, ultrafiltration. Okay, so we say this would increase, increase, the process of uh, ultrafiltration. Ultra filtration. Okay, and then question three C says, name the hormone that causes the reabsorption of water in the kidney and the organ where it is produced. So the name of the hormone is the antidiuretic hormone, which you can also write as ADH. That's just a shortcut. So it's the antidiuretic, antidiuretic hormone. But if you forget this, if you write ADH, it's, it's still acceptable. Okay. And then... The name of the organ is the pituitary glands. Okay. So, pituitary glands. Okay, so that's all we have for question number three. And now we go to question number four.